solve so this problem. So for this analysis of variance or the ANOVA, so take note that this is a statistical method used to analyze the difference between the means of two or more groups or treatments. So if we have this given sample data, the grades of section A and section B, then we need to answer this problem if there is significant difference between the means of these two sections. So we need to test if these two sections perform equally or one of the section perform better than the other section. So for the null hypothesis, there is no significant difference between the means of these two sections. And for the alternative hypothesis, there is significant difference between the means of these two sections. So to answer now this problem using this analysis variance, and we're going to use the Excel file for this ANOVA. So we need to put the data in an Excel file. But first, we need to install the analysis tool pack. So under File, click Option. Then for this Add-ins and under Manage, so make sure that this is Excel Add-ins. Then click Go. Then we need to check the Analysis tool pack and the Solver Add-in. Then click OK. Then under Data, look for Data Analysis. Then for this data analysis, look for the ANOVA single factor, then click OK. Then under input range, so we just need to highlight this section A, section B, and the data. Then make sure that this is grouped by columns because our data arranged in column and we need to check these labels in first row because we include the labels. Then we have three options for the output. So we can have output range or the output on the same worksheet, the new worksheet or the new workbook, but I prefer to use this new worksheet. Then click OK. So this is now the result. So from this result, we need to interpret now the data. So we have now the result. And from this, so we have for section A, so we have 17 counts. So we have 17 grades, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then the sum of all these grades, the average, for the grades of section A and the average for the grades of section B. Then we have now the variance for section A and section B. Then for this ANOVA, so we have now the sum of square, the degrees of freedom between groups. So the degrees of freedom between groups is 1 because DF is equal to N minus 1 since we have two sections. So we have 2 minus 1, so the degrees of freedom is 1. Then within the group, so we just need to add all the data. So 17 plus 17, this is 34. Since we have two groups, so 34 minus 2. So the degrees of freedom within the groups is 32. Then for this mean of square, so just divide. So for this mean of square, so this is the sum of square divided by the degrees of freedom. So that's how to find the mean of square. And this is the if statistics. And this is the if critical value. So from the if table. But on this output, we need to focus on the p-value. Because take note that if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, 
then we need to accept the null hypothesis. This implies that there is no difference between the means of these two sections. But if the p-value is less than 0.05, we need to reject the null hypothesis. And this implies that there is difference between the means of these two sections. So from this p-value, since the p-value is 0.04, since 0.04 is less than 0.05, so therefore, we need to reject the null hypothesis so there is difference between the means of these two sections. So therefore, one of the section perform better than the other section.